How's it going, booty lovers? Welcome to Booty Love Sculpt, the booty love moves that you love with light dumbbells for extra burn, more metabolism boosting benefits, and building extra lean muscle mass. Just in time for summer, or really any time of the year. All you will need is your mat, and then one set of dumbbells. Now you can choose anywhere between two to eight pounds. If you're already doing a fair amount of strength training, I would recommend going a little bit heavier, maybe the five to eight pound dumbbell range. If you're just sort of getting started, go a little bit lighter, maybe two pounds, three pounds, five pounds if you're feeling saucy. So we're gonna do just one half hour video. You're gonna sweat, you're gonna smile, and we're gonna sculpt. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and start with just a little warm up, holding the dumbbells in your hands, little marches, march, march, just march, pumping those arms, pump, pump. Now keep the legs going, keep the arms going. Let's add a little head. Look to the right and center, look to the left and center, just this, right, center, left and center, connecting the brain to the body, you got it, left, and center, two more each side, right, center, left, one more each side, right, and left. Come to the middle, just marching, you got it. Now from here, just the arms, take the left arm up and down, right arm and down. Using both hemispheres of the brain, yes. Two more each side like this, two, just warming up those joints, two. One more each side, one, and one. You got it. Go ahead and float the hands down. Roll the shoulders back. And now from here, tip toes and down. Tip toes and down. Keeping the ribs in, core tight. Up and down. Up and down. Warming up the feet and the ankles for four. You got this. Three, almost there. Two. One, all right, take those feet out nice and wide, at least as wide as your shoulders, maybe wider. Go ahead and sit the hips halfway back for a hinge, dumbbells to the thighs. From here, dip the hips to the right, to the left. Just warming up those hips, you got it. For four, four, three, three, stick with it, two, two, like you're waxing the back wall. Good, now roll the hips for one, two, moving from your core, Four, take it to eight, five, six, seven, eight, other way, one, two, you got this, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, stand it up. Okay, now that we're a little bit warm, we're gonna start with our first exercise. Keeping those feet wide, hands in front, sit the hips back. I'm gonna show you from the side, from here, tip toes, and down, tip toes and down. Squeezing your booty at the top, reaching towards the ceiling, stick with it, up and down. Heels lift, heels lower. For six, five, four, y'all doing great, stick with it. Three, almost there, two, one. Stay low, pulse it back. Back, like you're pushing a car door closed with your tailbone for four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, yes. Taking those feet nice and wide. Hands right here at your chest. Bending the knees, and now punching side to side. Left arm, center, right arm, center. Notice how you lift the back heel. Knees, hips, and shoulders go with you. Punch, punch. Working the obliques, shoulders, triceps, and hips for six, six. Staying low, five, lift the back heel, five, almost there, four, four. Heart rate up, three, three. Doing good, y'all, stick with it. Two, two, one more each side, one, one, and come to the middle and release. Yes. Third exercise. I'm gonna show you from the side. 
Go ahead and take those hands right here to your chest. And now from here, go ahead and lunge back with your right foot, squaring the hips. Now, we're gonna twist over that front hip. Twist, center, up, back, twist, center, up. Stick with it, back, twist, center, and up. Notice how your weight is in the front heel. Stick with it, back, twist, center, up. Yes, good. Welcome to that front butt cheek. Twist, center, up. Twist, center, up. Almost there. Twist, center, and up. Last one. Twist, center, and up. So that was so much fun. We're gonna do it on the other side. Hands up. Here we go. Back, twist over the front hip, center, and up. Keeping the weight in the front heel, keeping the chest lifted. You got this. Twist, center, up. Stick with it. Twist, center, up. That little twist activates that front butt cheek whether it wants to come to the party or not. It doesn't have a choice. And we get to work the obliques and your balance. Twist, center, up. Twist, center, and up. Two more. Back. Twist, center, and up. Last one. Back. Twist, center, and up. Well done. Now lucky us, we get to do that whole set again. Starting with those squat reach-ups. Feet are wide. Here we go. Down. Tip toes. Down. There it is. Hips back. Squeeze it at the top. Booty back and squeeze. Heels down. Heels up. Yes. Stick with it. Six. Five. Working your whole body here. Four. And your balance. Three. Two. One. Stay low. Little pulses back. Back. You can even lift up your toes because all the weight is in your hips and your heels. Four. Three, two, and one. Stand it up, yes. Hands here. Side to side punches. Twist, center, yes. Remember, stay low to work those obliques. Yes, stick with it. Lifting the back heel. Keep it going. So good. This rotational movement is excellent for releasing low back pain and for strengthening those hips. Two more each side. Two. Two. One more each side. One. One. And come to the middle. Well done. All right, bring those feet in towards each other. Hands right here at your chest. Now let's step the left foot back. Back. Twist, center, up. Again, same side. Twist, center, up. So good. Twist, center, up. Back, twist, center, up. Keeping your weight in that front heel. Center, up. Stick with it. Yes. Keep it going. Twist, center, up, three more. Twist, center. Up, last two. Welcome to your right butt cheek. Center. Up, last one. Yes. Well done, all right. We're gonna switch sides. It's gonna be super fun. Here we go. Back, twist, center, up. As you twist, make sure that your hips are still. You're twisting from the navel up. Keep it going. Twist, center, up. Your front knee is over the middle of your foot. Yes. Twist. Stick with it. Twist. Three more. Last two. 
One more, you can do it. Yes. And up, all right. Now, just for fun, we're gonna do that whole thing one more time. You can do it. Take those feet nice and wide. Starting with those squat reach-ups. Sit the hips back. We're gonna wait for the beat to drop, cause why not? Keep your chest open. Weight in the hips and the heels. Three, two, one. Take it up, take it down. Yes, there it is. Heels up, heels down. Stick with it. Eight, seven, so good. Six, five, four, almost there. Three, whoo, there's that balance. Two, one, stay low, pulse it back, back. Two, three, keep it going. Almost there. Yes. And one, come all the way up, yes. All right, side to side punches, here we go. Left arm, center, right arm, center. Left, right, stick with it, twist, twist. Remember, get low if you want more oblique work. Make sure to lift up your feet here so that knees, hips, and shoulders can twist with you. Two more each side. One more each side. Yes, good, stand it all the way up. Bring those feet in towards each other. Hands to your chest. We're gonna do that single back leg lunge with a torso twist. Left leg back, twist, center, up. Again, twist, center, up. Yes. Stick with it. You can do it. Twisting from the navel up, lower body is still. Two more. You got this. Yes, all right, switching sides. Right leg back, three, two, one. Here we go, back, twist, center, up. Yes, maintaining control and precision with our movements. Yes, stick with it. Almost there. Three. Two more, you can do this. One more, I'm right there with you. Stand it up, yes, set those dumbbells down. Well done. From here, inhale, circle, sweep those arms. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. And on the exhale, stretch it to the side. Yes, lengthening that side body. Inhale through the center. Exhale, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and reach it to the side, pressing the left hip out to the side. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, press the walls away from you. Again, up, grabbing a hold of the right wrist with the left hand and press to the side. Inhale to the center. Exhale, switch the grip. Inhale to the center and exhale, press the walls away from you. From here, hands up. Left foot, down. Right foot, down. A little active recovery here, good. Now, adding arms. Arms up. Down, out, down. Up, down, out, down. Resetting the knees. Up, down, out, down. Stick with it. Up, down, out. Two more. Up, down, out. Last one, then we balance. Up, and out. Hold it here. And now find an airplane pose, taking the leg back behind you. Squaring the hips towards the floor. Good. Flexing the back foot for four, three, two, and one. Stand it all the way up. All right, y'all, we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna turn to the side for this. 
taking the leg in the air, actively flexing the foot, and then take the leg back behind you, squaring the hip towards the floor for five, four, belly in, three, two, and one. Stand it all the way up, yes. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms. Exhale, swan dive forward, softening the knees, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, finding a halfway lift, lengthening from tailbone to crown. And exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms as we come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center, one more round. Inhale, circle, sweep, lengthen. Exhale, swan dive forward, softening the back of the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we are done with the first half. Feel free to take a quick drink of water if you like, and then we're gonna move on to our next set. So that was super fun. Now we get to move on to our second set of exercises. We're gonna do each of these exercises three times through, and then we get to end with some stretches. It'll feel great. First things first, take those feet nice and wide, please. All right, turn those toes out to a 45 degree angle. Tailbone long, chest open. Now from here, as you drop the hips, arms come up to shoulder height and up. Just this, down and up. I'm gonna show you from the side. Notice how the booty is coming straight in line with the rest of your spine. This is a plie squat versus a functional squat. Down and up. Welcome to your inner thighs. Squeeze your booty at the top. That's it. Yes. Working shoulders, core, inner and outer thighs. Maybe your patience a little bit too, but you can do it. Yes. Stick with it, y'all. These are called compound movements, which get your metabolism cruising along for four hours after you're done working out. Three, up, two, up, one, and up. So good. All right, y'all. Now from here, we're gonna curtsy. So go ahead and take your right foot behind the left. Palms are facing towards the front. And now we come up, switch sides. Come up, switch sides. Stick with it, pressing through the front heel and down. Come up and down. Making little circles with your arms, working the shoulders. Yes, stick with it. Square the hips towards the front of the room to work inner and outer thighs and to keep your knees happy. Yes. Driving up through the heel. Stick with it. Yes, nice controlled pace. Let's do one more each side, why not? You can do it, we're almost there. Yes. Come all the way up triumphantly and then take it on down. All right, y'all, go ahead and set those dumbbells at the front of your mat. One dumbbell in here. Circle, sweep those arms. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening from tailbone to crown. Exhale, fold, release your head. Plant the hands, step it back to high plank, top of a push-up position. Take the feet as wide as your mat. And now, without shifting your hips, you're gonna grab that dumbbell with your right hand. Hold it. Take that dumbbell to the center. Grab the dumbbell with your left hand. Hold it, harder than it looks. Take it to the center. Right hand. Hold it. Center. Left hand. Hold it. One more each side. Take it to the center. Right hand, and hold it. Take it to the center. Left hand, hold it. 
Bring it to the center. And now from here, hips back up for your downward facing dog. Let your head hang heavy. Roll the shoulders in towards your body. Bending the knees, lift the heels on your inhale. On the exhale, step it forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms, palms touch at the top. And exhale, hands to heart center. And now we get to do all that again. Grab those dumbbells, please. All right, y'all, finding your plies. Here we go. Down and squeeze your booty at the top. Yes, stick with it. Remember those arms come just up to shoulder height, no higher. And if your neck is getting tender, then you can just take the arms halfway up. It's up to you. You can also go lighter in weight. Yes. Four more. Squeezing the booty at the top. Almost there. Yes. Good. And up, well done. Keep those feet nice and wide. Now from here, I invite you to keep the hands low. Crossing the right foot behind the left. Come up, switch sides. Come up, switch sides. Stick with it. Up and down, pressing through the front heel. Yes. Remember, when you press into the heel, you activate your booty. And that's gonna be much better for the knees. Keep it going. Yes. Almost there. This can be big or small, it's up to you. One more each side. Come on up triumphantly and release. Go ahead and set the dumbbells down. One dumbbell in the middle of your mat. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms. Exhale, swan dive forward all the way down. Release your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine is long. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, plant the hands as you step it back to high plank, top of a push-up. Now, if your wrists are tender, I invite you to come down onto your forearms. I'll show you all a modification for that first exercise. If your wrists are tender, you can take the dumbbell and open out like this. Come to the center, open out. Or if you want, stick with that first exercise where you're just switching the hands from side to side. Come to the center and out. Center and out. Feet are wide. Center and out. This is it. Center and out. Come to the middle. Binding yourselves on your wrists. And then take the hips all the way back up towards the sky. For downward facing dog, let your head hang heavy. Inhale as you bend the knees, gazing forward. And with your exhale, step it forward to the front of your mat, coming to Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold release. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. And release. Guess who gets to do that one more time? We do, yes? All right. Grabbing those dumbbells. Feet are wide. Here we go. Down and up. Noticing how the knees are stacking over the ankles. Yes. Tailbone drops straight down. Chest stays lifted. Dumbbells no higher than the level of your shoulders. Yes. Yes. Four more. Four. Up. Y'all doing great. Three. Up, almost there. Two, up, 
one, and up, so good. Put all that weight in your left leg. Cross the right foot behind. And now, here we go, finding our curtsies. Come up and down. Coming up, good. Pressing through the front heel, hips are squared. Yes. Good, moving as though you're moving through water, floating. Yes. Almost there. Stick with it, y'all. The third round is always the hardest. That's where the magic happens. I'm right there with you. This is it, we're so close. This is your last one. Yes. Come on up triumphantly. Set those dumbbells down. Facing to the side. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your belly button towards the spine. Exhale, fold, step it back to your high plank, top of a push up, feet are wide. Taking the dumbbell into your right hand, little hold, bring it to the middle. Little hold. Dumbbell into your left hand. Little hold, keeping the hips still to the center. Little hold. To the right hand. Little hold. To the center. Little hold. To the left hand. Little hold. To the center. Little hold. One more each side. Right hand. Little hold. Center. Little hold, welcome to your obliques. Left hand, ah, little hold. Center, little hold. And now release it down. Sitting the hips back towards the heels. Yes. Well done. From here, I invite you to go ahead and set the dumbbell off to the side. And let's come onto your forearms. Draw the lower belly in. Extend your left leg back into the air, squaring the hips towards the floor. Cross the left foot behind the right, lift it up, take it out, and center. This is your movement. Cross, lift, out, lift. Stick with it. Yes, like you're making the letter A in the air behind you. Working inner thighs, outer thighs, under butt, and your booty shelf, all in this one move. Keeping the hips still. Last round. Come up and pulse, 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 pulse. Yes, now sit the hips back just for a moment. Let's switch sides, coming back onto your forearms. Extending the other leg back, squaring the hips, flexing the foot. Here we go, cross, lift, out, and lift. Little faster. You got it, try to keep the hips still. Moving just the leg. You can do it. We're almost there. Take it up in the middle, pulse it. Ribs in. And now take the big toes to touching and the knees wide. Sit the hips all the way back towards the heels for child's pose. Bring your palms up as you lift the armpits away from the floor. Let your head drop towards the mat, stretching through your lats, your shoulder blades, and your armpits. And now nice and slow, go ahead and flatten those hands. Let's do some big hip rolls. Taking the hips to the left, 
to the front, to the right, and back. Pausing wherever your hips need a little bit more love or a little bit more attention. Feeling free to bend the elbows here, get the shoulders involved. And now switching the direction of those circles. Pausing wherever it feels good for you to pause. Let's do two more. Yes. And now from here, sit it on back to a nice kneeling position. Draw the rib cage in. Take the arms out like football goalposts. Forms and palms touch and out. Two more like this, in and out. Last one, in and out. Beautiful job. Take the fingertips to the floor on each side of your knees and then rock back to your heels. Peel your tailbone up to the sky for forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Inhale, find your halfway lift. And exhale, release, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms as we rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we are done. Excellent job. All right, so because this is a strength workout, you wanna make sure and do it every other day rather than every single day. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.